meet, let me retract for a moment. Our parents tried to make, uh, to make possible for us to continue with schooling. So they would hire some former teachers and a group of six of us and <coughs> the teachers would continue to sort of follow the curriculum that would have in the sixth grade, et cetera, et cetera. But we had to hide our books, so we had to have a, it was a winter, so a cold, you put the books underneath. So you were not supposed to be educated. They always would post that, you know, education is forbidden to the Jewish children, schools are closed and so on. And you'll be penalized if found. So we had to be very careful. One day I was crossing a little park, I had the books with me, and I'm stopped by a German a sergeant, German army, not an SS man. And he said, what are you doing? So I gave him some excuse in German. He said, you come with me. I've been taken to a barrack out of town, and my, there were some other people there, and my entire day spent to clean the German latrine. My parents had no idea where I was. I was 11 and a half years old. Was I afraid? Probably not. I don't remember being afraid at that time. I came home around just before the curfew. My parents said, where were you? I said, where are you? I was cleaning latrine in the German barracks. What do you tell them? You know, and they said, my God, they didn't know anything about it. I said, how could you have known? You know. But so this is, these are these, beginning of actually what was going to happen. Dehumanizing, but not that threatening. This comes a bit later. 